This is my first YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I uh, made my coloring book, uh, Tranquil Tresses, which is available on Amazon.com. Um, and I'll take you through how I made um, uh, the one of my pages, which is also the actual front of the book, the front cover. Um, I've been using Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, to make my pages. And the first thing I did was get an image, and I got this online. I like the image. I like the uh, the profile. I like the flow of the back. Um, and there was a lot of um, options here to add in uh, various patterns. Okay, so the first thing I did was I outlined the whole image. So I uh, saved the background image and locked it on one layer and then I made a new layer. And I used my pen tool. And I'll change this now to somewhere something I can see, so a red maybe. And then I just outlined the whole outside of the image. So this just takes a while. Let's start here. And I just followed the edge, the outside edge as close as I can um, until you finish, okay? So when I've done that, I will come back. Okay, so I finished doing the outline here. And once I've finished the outline now, I will lock that. Lock that layer and I will make a new layer and then I will start working on uh, some detail. Okay. So uh, usually I start with um, the important detail, which is the, the facial area. Again, I get my pen tool. Um, now that this layer is locked, it means I can click on this line and it won't join up. So I keep going and keep adding, uh, keep adding detail. Um, and uh, once I've done most of this, I will be right back. Okay, so I've added quite a lot of detail now, and I'm pretty happy with the result. Except I still think it looks quite flat. So what I'm going to do is change the, the line quality, okay? So as you can see, um, all the lines are quite similar. Okay, the one point and the uniform. So to uh, give more depth to, to the drawing, to make it look like it's actual a real uh, hand pen drawing, I like to change the, um, the line quality here. And by doing that, it's very simple. All you got to do is just... Um, change what pen, what stroke you use. Okay, so something as simple as that suddenly makes the line a bit more interesting. Um, and I'll do that for all the strokes. So it takes a while, again. This one is much better. around with a lot of these strokes to see which one uh, which one you like best.
Okay, so I'll keep doing this for um, for the rest of the lines, and then when I'm done, I will get back to you. Okay, so now that I've um, I've changed the line quality, um, the next thing is to do is to add more detail. Okay, so this is a coloring page, so you need um, just more detail around here on the back and on the dress, and then some background. Okay, for um, for people to color. Okay, so. So what I did was I I had this image and um, I pretty much just dropped it over the dress area. Okay, just that I like the curl design, and then I made a clipping mask. So what I did was I let's hide this. I copied the outline and then then I made a clipping mask. Okay, so oh, not that one, this one. See, so it made an outline, and then you just click on your background, and then you just click on all of this, and you right click. And then you make clipping mask, and you see it uh, cuts off the edge. So then, when you uh, put your image back on, if you can see, it's uh, cut it out. So it looks like it's um, the actual original pattern of the dress. Okay, so that's how I did that for the dress. My own design, and then next I am going to add some more detail around the outside. Now, um, I make a new layer, and then here on the back, okay, here on the back, I I want something a bit more ornate and something a bit more Celtic. So I did get um, I had some help here, and I went on to open source website. Um, with open source clip art, public domain vectors, and I got myself an image. Um, yeah, so I got this image, which I kind of liked. So it was a nice Celtic design, and I decided I was going to use that to um, be part of the background here. Okay, so almost like a seal. Um, okay. Now I got another one for um, for her ear, for an earring. Okay, another Celtic design from Open Source. Okay, so basically what I did, I kept going into um, public domain vectors, and then I got some other flowers um, and various other um, decorations just for the background and to fill up the image. So yeah, so I just kept layering um, more flowers, more designs, until I was happy with the finished piece.
I also um, made some brushes um, myself, so I uh, drew, a, drew a sketch, drew an image, and then I converted it into a brush. And um, I will do another tutorial on, on how to make brushes in Illustrator because this, uh, this makes your work uh, so much easier and it speeds up the process because you can chop and you can change and if you don't like something you can change it pretty quickly uh, to a different brush. Okay, and there you have it. Uh, finish coloring in page. So if I didn't bore you to death, uh, give me a like and if you want to see more, you can subscribe.